Shock Hemodynamics Shock is a state of restricted perfusion or blood flow to the various tissues of the body. Perfusion rate can be measured in terms of liters per minute of blood upon grams of tissue perfused. Perfusion in the body depends on three main factors. Number one, cardiac output. Number two, systemic vascular resistance. Number three, oxygen concentration in the blood. Cardiac output. It is the amount of blood pumped out of the heart per minute and is proportionate to the rate of perfusion. Cardiac output is measured by the following formula. Cardiac output is equal to stroke volume multiplied by heart rate and is measured in terms of liter per minute. Stroke volume is the volume of blood pumped out of the heart with every heartbeat while heart rate is the number of beats per minute. While heart rate can increase or decrease based on the input from the nervous system, stroke volume is dependent on the preload, which is the volume of blood in the heart at the beginning of contraction, afterload, which is the pressure on the wall of the ventricle at the end of contraction, and contractility, which is the ability of the heart to squeeze out blood. Stroke volume can be measured as the difference between the end diastolic volume or the volume of blood in the ventricle at the beginning of a heartbeat and the end systolic volume or the volume of blood in the ventricle at the end of a heartbeat. Systemic vascular resistance is the total resistance offered by blood vessel walls to the flow of blood, allowing it to be pushed along the blood vessels, enabling better oxygen delivery and as a consequence, better tissue perfusion. Resistance is largely dependent on the diameter of the blood vessels. The smaller the diameter, the more the resistance, resulting in greater tissue perfusion in the body. Oxygen concentration or oxygen saturation is the third factor on which perfusion is dependent, as greater oxygen saturation results in greater availability of oxygen to the tissues resulting in greater perfusion. Oxygen concentration is measured by pulse oximetry or through arterial blood gas analysis. The factors that influence tissue perfusion also influence arterial blood pressure, which could also be a good indicator about the severity of shock. Mean arterial blood pressure can be measured by the following formula. Mean arterial pressure is equal to cardiac output multiplied by systemic vascular resistance plus central venous pressure. Central venous pressure, being negligible, is often omitted in making a rough estimate of the mean arterial pressure. Mean arterial pressure could also be calculated with a sphygmomanometer or BP apparatus using the following formula. Mean arterial pressure is equal to two-third of the diastolic pressure plus one-third of the systolic pressure. 